Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I am Uncle Lander, and this is Cyberpunk 2077 version 2.1 with Phantom Liberty DLC. On the last episode, we have managed to help Judy with her rather unfortunate incident um, with Evelyn. She sadly have decided to end everything on her own terms. And uh, considering that that quest wasn't really the longest, I also decided to add towards the episode a side quest for Ozo Bozo which we have also completed relatively short. We also have obtained the best car in the game, undisputed king of the road, Mai Mai. And now we are back in our house. So, my character, level 24 with 31 street cred, with 10 reflexes, 10 technical ability, 11 intelligence, 11, and 11 cool. Um, and three body, but I don't count that because I'm probably not gonna put any, uh, any attribute points into this. Um, my build is basically sniper rifles, pistols, automatic pistols for open combat situations, long range kills, and uh, quick hacks that are not lethal, just crowd control, non damaging quick hacks like um, sonic boom or uh, cripple movement, that kind of stuff. Alright, so I'm supposed to take a nap for 24 hours. Well, nap for 24 hours, if we only could take these long, the, those lungs of a nap. Um, but yeah, after right now, the plan for today is to get to the camp. We're gonna get to the camp, and we are going to do two quests during this episode. One quest for Mitch, which we need to do, and the other quest for Panam. Kitty, sleepy kitty, good kitty. Alright, let's move on. So, before I'm gonna get into the car and start driving, this episode, like every single other, is being recorded live during my live streams on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lander. Come in, say hi, I'm playing variety of video games, charity events, modded playthroughs, genre marathons, and more. Oh, who's this? Judy? Hey, buried EV today, Columbarium near North Oak. Thought you might want to know. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, how do you feel? Could actually write both of them the same. I tend to get thirsty shit faced today. That is a reasonable goal. That is as reasonable goal as a human being can uh, can get. So, yes. Tiancha, come quad for the soul. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take a scorpion's bike for the ride. But first, let me pick up, uh, give me danger. Yeah, this is the quest I'm gonna do right now. 5.1 kilometers from the current, from the current point of standing. I'm not gonna take freaking my my for the, for the Aldecado stuff. Uh, that's just absolutely unreasonable. I am fan of this. I don't know why I am not a fan of SUVs whatsoever, but this one, kinda, I, I really like it, I'm gonna buy it. Alright, uh, let's make a 180 degree turn and full gas. Hmm, I think the radio could be a little bit louder. Done and there we go. Right for the target. We're gonna see if we can complete the uh, quest for Mitch with burying Scorpion. Because if we're gonna complete that, we're gonna get a unique knife.
If I would drive into that guy, the police would be already on my ass. And I'm not really sure if I would be able to dodge uh, the police with this bike. This thing can only squeeze 170 kilometers an hour. So I sincerely doubt that would be a possibility. Uh, so... Uh, wide open road, dirt, sand, mountains. It ain't much, but still one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. Thank you. If you ever need anything, you know where to find us. Well, I'm actually going to find you now. Point seven kilometers to go. Hmm, this bike can actually pull more than 170, 173. I'd say it's better than nothing. I also want this truck. Ma'am, can I... Can I... Can I ride that? You need to be this tall to be able to ride it. Your dick needs to be this small to own this truck. <laughs> 2.3 kilometers. Precisely. Um, you were right, V. It's good being back with your people. In Night City, I felt like the loneliest person in the world. I'd rather be in the company of that stubborn ass. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, I think he's loosened up a little bit. He's starting to realize he doesn't have to be only voice around the campfire. It will do us some good. Trying to make jealous, trying to make me jealous, huh? You're not wrong about the NC. Family gatherings were never really my jam, but still, I'm happy. All of you are happy. So we just, I won't uh, wrong about. You're not wrong about the NC. At least all of you are together. Won't lie, it's tempting. So it's official. Panam's a bright again. Still hasn't really hit me yet. I'm still giving myself a, tr a trial period. You can't expect everything right from the start, but I feel like things are going to turn for the better. Not like you don't know where to find us. You helped us in our time of need. You'll always be welcome here. Anyway, I have to go before they get drunk off their asses or start another race. Take care, V. Hey, James. Whoa. Oh yeah, all the updates, all the patches have added so much detail to this game. So much detail. Alright, um, Mitch, 
I need to find Mitch. Mitch is gonna be on one of those rocks over here. I want to see if I can complete his quest first before I'm gonna start talking to Pan Am. I'm just, I just want to check it out. And I'm pretty sure that he is not here, so I'm gonna check the second rock. All of them are unidentified. Um, okay, so Mitch is not here. Look what I found. Interesting. So where the heck is Mitch then? I think he's gonna be on like one of the rocks. He's gonna ask me, "Hey, V, wanna wanna bury Scorpion right or something like that?" Maybe it's after this quest. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe he's on a different rock altogether. Cause I really want to do that quest. Yeah, if the scanner doesn't show me any green circles, that means that he's not currently available. I guess I'm just gonna go directly for Pan Am. No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour. Oh, no, never mind. He's right over here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm mad? I have no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for them. Cassidy, Ted, Carolyn, Bob... Yeah, it was the computer that was started buzzing. Nothing else besides that. Um, I can have a cool speed check. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> and you plan to grab the Basilisk Helm. That would be so thanks, mean Haven't to do. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. That would be so mean for me to do. Ooh, on the roll. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. 
Did you try to get Saul on board again? America. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Mmm, speed nice check. Job, yeah, it's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Combing your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Um, I'm gonna ride with you guys. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Excellent. I think I heard a little uh, shake in that Yeah, there we go. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. <laughs> but... Are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Military Mitch acting like the older brother. So Pan Am, it's actually kind of cute when you okay, think about it. Hey, forget I even asked. Let's go. Oh, that tree just went flying. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I'll remember that. You are cursed black and we have arrived. Ritual FM. Ritual. Big bastard like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, and then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Yeah, what could possibly so go wrong? Be on board with that. Are we ready? Cassidy, you are kind of standing in that. Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? About a million? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Hmm. Is the tech ability? All right. Uh, I need to talk to Nomad because huh. that that's an option. Quick. Very quick. Come on, B. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm, while Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, 
You have real power. Have fun, kids. Alright, that's not all of them. Um, let me take a look around. I can talk with her now, I guess. Well, hello there. Have you come General to make yourself Kenobi. useful? Um, I got intelligence uh, check over here. Never seen old tech like this. Know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books. Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Hmm. All of a sudden, her terminal have changed. Okay, so that would be number three. Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. Do you need a light? Something changed? Well done. Uh -huh. Thanks, boys. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Let's set to work. Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Scan the generator. Hey, it works. Didn't I just done that? Thanks, V. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so that actually covered all the optional side quests. Now I can go inside and talk to Panem. Okay, what do we have here? Some tier 3 stuff. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Hmm. Okay, here we are. Well, it's sure not like thing. I have any other choice. Nothing here. Of course, requires not that a... help. Nothing here. Only pick out some soy paste from the pile from a pile of cardboard. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Not a dried meat, ugh. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Got the punch card. Oh well, well. But I don't think that's all when it comes to this place. I'm thinking I'm mistaking this tower with the other one that is gonna be later occupied with the gigs, with the gig stuff. Got something. Good job. We have a card! 
What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. Okay. Uh, that looks like a card reader. Here goes nothing. Punch it. And still can. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Why not? Also, the game kind of demands it. It's important to you. But is that all? I. Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Join the Nomad Junction. Actually, let me go on the top of the roof first. Because it might have something of interest. And it does not. Oh well. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Cannot force that open, sadly. What's this? Soul? Uh, do you know where Panam is? I'm not her babysitter. No idea. Totally don't, don't know where she is. God damn it, she never in the camp when you need her. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell a damn thing. Down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. Car could use another once over. Okay. Not much of a conversation list, I guess. Ah, beautiful sky. Wish I could see it see stars something through. We've got a few hours till dawn. Yeah, some of the stars are here, that's for sure. The rest of them are covered with the clouds. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Yeah, let's drink the scorpion. Ought to raise a glass to scorpion. 
sounds like a good idea. Even though we only know it for five minutes, seems like Scorpion was an important part of their camp, so why the heck not? To Scorpion. And to Jackie. Oh, she actually remembered. That's so great. That's so cute. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And yes. you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's some major leak. Good night, B. I step right into that one. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Imagine you wake up in the morning, and the first thing that's gonna happen is not even the morning coffee, it's the freaking action. I'm pumped, let's go. Let's deal with Militech. Let's teach them a lesson, or several. All with the, all of them with a the muzzle velocity. Alright. She's moving. Get her up to speed. What are you conking about? I just did, Panam. Surround them as soon as they're cut off. Nah, he's not picking far enough. Fire! Gotta get more than a KI. Okay, I don't have the ram. One more. Mitch, Bob, go! All is 
plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Oh. Well, that just happened. Uh, Gikta, Edge of Summer you can eliminate the... Okay, I don't, I don't care about that. That's not what I want to do. Right now I'm picking up the trash. Yeah, you honking doesn't help. Fuck! It worked! <laughs> it just worked. A uh, cyber psycho side team, don't care. At least not right now. I'm gonna do cyber psychos later. All in due time. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting with Mitch and Teddy. I also do not hear the truck honking all over the place. I think they actually fixed that. In the previous version of the game, the truck that was carrying the tank was the noisiest one of them all. He always was making the sound in the background. So I'm really happy. Uh, so I'm really happy to see that okay. Just lost the they actually, they actually, uh, so you know, was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect they actually fixed that because it was me. a little bit annoying. All right, I think we can skip this and see and see the disappointed face of Saul. Kind of, he kind of deserves that. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. I think they also changed the colors in the basilisk. So it's all silverish. It used to be like dark black, maybe even. Fuck, an so it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Some lungs you got. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Major, major quest complete and the level up. Um.
New job, queen of the highway. Leave the camp and wait a day until Basilisk is ready. Yeah, that's gonna wait a little bit, because... Let me see if the Mitch is over there, because if not, we're simply gonna... I'm simply gonna go home. Um, but first of all, let me check, take a look at the character, because I can now level up. Um, I'm gonna put this one point in technical ability. There we go. And now the perk, because we have already installed one perk in cool. Um, we might actually put something into technical ability, and I'm not gonna go for minus 5% of incoming damage if all integumentary system and skeleton and cyberware slots are filled. Which might be useful. Uh, from intelligence... Also some useful perks, but technical ability is gonna require also one, so... Let's just fill this up. Let me check if Mitch is over here. Um, hey, V. Yeah, there here. we go. We're gonna do this quest as well. A little closer hey, now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but uh, meh. Meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah, V does know that because he she lost Jackie. Mm-hmm. Name was Jackie. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. In the blaze of glory. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. I'll do it. Okay. I'll help. Come on, then. On my last playthrough, which was Thrival, Nice, and Katanas, I actually missed this quest. Yeah. And? From this point on, I have kind of promised to myself uh -huh. that I'm never gonna miss this quest Wait. ever again. I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. Tomorrow. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. Let's right, roll. Let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. I'll try. Um, okay, so this is Mitch's car. I thought for a second that this is scorpions. Never mind. Mitch, you hear Webinized? me? Webinized? Oh boy. Yep. But more driving, less talking. That could be arranged. Huh, also machine guns. Ah, uh, sun on my face, wind in my head. Perfect. No, oh, hey, haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. Mm hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. <sighs> This place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little girl scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Which is not gonna be happy with my driving style. the place oh what the hell did did he just holy shit mitch what the hell relax v it's what scorpion wanted he wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire no he wanted me to take him here and send him off with a bang we set him up behind the wheel douse the car then light it let him fly off the edge i mean 
If that's what Scorpion wanted. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Okay, where's that can? Right over here, okay. It doesn't even look like a jerry can. From this side, it looks like a freaking suitcase. There you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. See the drivers already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. Fair enough. She's burning! Quick! Before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Mitch, why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh, I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn. Was it the right one? Was it? He's now dead. Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. <laughs> Go on. It's yours. Okay, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm gonna pull it, does it go on the screen, get over here? What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. I already have a bike. Oh, and, uh... Thanks, V. For today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. Job complete. 33 street cred. And wow, that actually gave me a level up too. Holy damn. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let me check if I got the blueprint for the knife. Yep, there we go. Stinger, tier 4 iconic. Headshot damage multiplier, bleeding chance, poison chance. Attack against poison enemies have a 100% chance to cause bleeding. Attacks against bleeding enemies have a 100% to cause poisoning. Good. Good knife. Sadly, I'm not gonna use it. Okay, character. Um, gonna keep the reflexes as it is. I'm gonna put one point in the coal. And now when it comes to perk-wise... Uh, let's see what actually is gonna have more value. Until it only affects... Stamina cost from focus made for each enemy neutralized while it's active. Reload speed. Uh, when the focus is active, neutralizing an enemy with a ranged weapon attacks resets its duration. Uh, that actually sounds pretty good. So if not this, then what do we have from the intelligence? You can quick hug them through walls and obstacles if they are tracing me. Hmm. What if all the characters having stumps? I don't know what you're talking about when it comes to stumps. That's their cyberware. Hmm. Maybe I should go for this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for counter hack. 
No arm? Yeah, that's the cyberware. They're all war veterans. There we go. We're gonna go for this. Um, and then later from... Cool, we're probably gonna pick up head-to-head -to, -head to reset the duration on the slowdown. Alright. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get back home. This one is already taking long enough. So let me take... Uh, Scorpion's Apollo. There we go. Um, and then we're gonna see what else there is to do. I mean, probably after I'm gonna sleep another 24 hours, that's gonna activate the quest for Panam for us, so we might actually stick with all the Kados until the end of their quest line. Which is not very long. Seven kilometer. Um, Pacific Dreams. It's a radio station because why not? I wouldn't be surprised if the Militech would start chasing me sooner or later. After all, I just attacked their convoy. It seems like they are not in the hurry to exact the event revenge on me. So I don't know how I should feel about that. Anyway, after I'm gonna cover most, if not every single of the side quests, um, and, and, and when we're gonna reach Hanako, what I am going to do is I'm gonna do NCPD first, then all the gigs. Um, after that, we're gonna see what other content do we have available because we're gonna do DLC and then we're gonna go for the ending of the game so there's still a plenty to do oh yeah let's not forget cyber psychos I might actually leave cyber psychos as the very last thing to do Because usually cyber cycles are bringing the best rewards. Usually. At least that's how I remember the game uh, when it comes to rewarding a player during versions once from 161 to 163. You basically did cyber cycles as the last because they were bringing like the best gear and okay, it's not a big problem. I'm actually going the right way, because I'm going for my house anyway. Oops. We have an O211 in Westbrook. Any units in the area? Come in. Roger dispatch, we're at Silk Road West. ETA three minutes. There's no units. A uh, Judy? Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty. But something came to me. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. Hmm, should could check. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended? V. I can't 
stand by and let things go on like this. Mm. The monks want to cover Clouds, huh? Got the marks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Yeah, sure. Fine. Got me on board. Oh, I will always help Judy. Yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Sure, Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Oh, scratch that. The balcony above Clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. Well, I hope that uh, it's not gonna be way, way too late. Because first I would love to finish the Panem's questline, then go for the Judy's questline. Because right now the only thing that we need to do is get a Basilisk and basically um, get a control of the Basilisk and then Panem, that's gonna, with the Panem it's gonna be the end. Because then all the cards are gonna have to change the position. And yeah. Where is my kitty? Where is my kitty? Okay, okay, he's not he's not pooping. Uh the lizard is still on I can pet the kitty! Can I pet the kitty? Uh, I still can I pet the kitty? Why? I usually could pet the cat when when I when I was Man This bed stinks. I don't want I don't want to go to bed I wanna pet the kitty. Aw. Still adorable as hell. Um, meet you there the clouds, Therese, early morning. Well, first, I'm gonna make a hard save of the game and then go to sleep. Give me danger. I can override that. And let's hope me waiting for 24 hours. I mean, we'll see. I mean, 24 hours and then we can go directly for the camp, so... I think Judy can wait for me at the clouds. At least I believe so. I don't think that Judy's quest is timed in any way, shape, or form. But what I am going to do is Iggy still have not hatched out. What I am going to do is, ladies and gentlemen, people of Twitch, we're going to still continue on, this, on the stream. While people of YouTube, this is going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing, ringing the bell, stop the like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Links for all my socials can be found in the description below and the pinned comment down below as well. Thank you guys once again. I'll see you on the next one.